Now, Bethan, are you doing anything for Valentine's Day next week? I am actually. I'm going for a meal in town. <laughs> John, fix the reporting. Now, Siobhan, it's that time of year again. Oh, no, it's not. Yes, Siobhan, it is. <laughs> Panto is back. As we all know, Kim likes to talk a lot, and because she's not going to speak for 24 hours, she's tried to nick my auto cue there. But unfortunately, this blossoming relationship looked like the petty bickering of a breakup, sadly. New banana from uh, auto cue. You can chill out and watch a film in the cinema. Yeah, and I stood on a cornflake, and now I'm a serial killer. Don't forget to put your clocks back an hour forward this weekend. Must remember that, Carly. Goodbye. Dan McLaughlin, Keys TV News. Please don't eat me. Sorry, guys. Sorry, folks. We're having some some trouble. There, we're going to have to come back to the studio here. All right. Thanks very much, though. Thank you. Touching me, touching you. Sweet Caroline. Scarlett Johansson, she wears a lot of leather in this film, obviously, and she looks quite sexy. Someone else that looks sexy wearing leather is our sport presenter, Ben. Keith TV New. Z. Oh, is that what you'd like to finish for us with Keith? You're very good, like Jamie Feigston. Keith TV News. <laughs> Cut. absolutely love this film. I love this film so much that I feel I should have taken it to dinner and then home to meet my parents. It was perfect. And it would be rude to pick on children because, yeah. and I'm not going to. Yeah. Well, this was like watching other people's children in a nativity play without the unexpected joy of someone falling off stage and giving you a little bit of a laugh. Oh, she's a 19 year old girl who after a bit of how's your father finds herself pursued by what I can only describe as an ST demon. You can, we're going to see this in Asda in a couple of weeks with a five pound sticker on it. You got it! Yay. I didn't have to leave. I went to the loo at one point and thought, I'm not going back. No one will know. I'll just make the review up like Richard Bacon used to. Well, who are you to decide that just because this happens to be based on a plastine, plasticine sheep from a Wallace and Gromit short, that that is better than something like the pretentious Birdman that just sniffing its own self-indulge. Oh, God, I hate that film. Birdman? Oh, I could talk all day about Birdman. My problem with Birdman is that it is more pretentious than a man in the northern quarter with the biggest beard you've ever seen telling you about prog rock from some band you've never heard of. Oh, I can do it. Dude, where's my donkey? Where's my donkey gone? Absolute naff all the way through. You've, you're not scraping the bottom of the barrel. You're down to the centre of the earth amongst the bubbling magma with how far you're going to go to try and get a laugh out of people. It's dreadful. We'd just like to apologise for some of the naughty language that Tom has used in his film review. You Tom, <laughs> uh, you know, I hear there's a new uh, job on BBC, replacing Jeremy Clark, she's going for that. <laughs> Come on, Tom, maybe in your own deluded mind, but I mean... In one word, how would you sum up the film? In a word, let's say. Brilliant! How Honest many people were there, let's the, be honest? Th there were no people there, it was just me. Brilliant. <laughs> 